It started with a simple alert. A telescope in Chile spotted a faint object, moving at over 100,000 miles per hour, cutting a path through our cosmic backyard. They named it 3 Eye Atlas. But what started as a routine discovery quickly became a global obsession. You see, this comet started to defy the laws of physics, making maneuvers that some experts are calling artificial. Now, the theory that it's an advanced alien spacecraft has hit the mainstream. What if an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond? NASA official response to these incredible claims is finally here. What they admit is almost as shocking as the theory itself. A visitor in the dark. On a cold December night, a network of telescopes designed to be our planet's early warning system against incoming asteroids picked up something new. This system, called the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS for short, had found a ghost. It was incredibly faint, a barely there smudge against the infinite black, located in the constellation of Ursa Major. Cataloged as C-2019Y4 ATLAS, it was, at first, just another number in a long list of cosmic wanderers, but not all things are what they seem. What many overlooked is that this was no ordinary snowball from the edge of our solar system. Its path was different. It was on a near parabolic orbit, a trajectory that screamed it was a visitor from the vast, dark ocean of interstellar space. This was a huge deal. To put it mildly, finding objects from other star systems is incredibly rare. This was only the third such visitor ever confirmed. The initial data was mind-boggling. Scientists calculated it was traveling at a blistering pace of over 100,000 miles per hour. For context, that's fast enough to travel from New York to Los Angeles in just over 90 seconds. But its speed wasn't the weirdest part. The real mystery began when it started to get brighter. And not just a little brighter. It brightened at a shocking, unprecedented rate. Between February and March, its brightness increased by a factor of hundreds. Astronomers were giddy with excitement. Projections showed that by May, it could become one of the most spectacular comets of the last two decades, a brilliant jewel easily visible to the naked eye. It was being hailed as the comet of a generation. Then, just as quickly as the excitement began, it vanished. The comet stopped brightening. In fact, it started to get dimmer, fast. It was as if someone had flipped a switch. This is not what comets are supposed to do. As they get closer to the sun, the heat causes ice to vaporize, creating a bigger, brighter cloud of gas and dust called a coma. Atlas was doing the opposite. It was fizzling out. Amateur astronomers with powerful backyard telescopes were the first to notice something was terribly wrong. They reported that the comet's core, its very heart, no longer looked like a sharp point of light. It was elongated, smeared. It looked broken. The whispers started online, in forums and on social media. What could cause a comet to behave this way? The simple answer was that the nucleus was fragmenting. But the thing nobody tells you is that the way it was behaving fueled a much wilder, more incredible theory. This wasn't a dying comet. This was a machine. But what could have possibly led to such a wild conclusion? Not of this world. The theory that Atlas was not a comet, but an advanced piece of alien technology didn't come from just anywhere. It was championed by figures like Avi Loeb, a top astronomer from Harvard University. He pointed to a series of anomalies that, when viewed together, painted a deeply unsettling picture. First, there was its trajectory. While it was on a path through our solar system, some of his calculations suggested its movements weren't just being influenced by the sun's gravity. It appeared to have a slight non-gravitational acceleration. In other words, Something seemed to be steering it, or at least giving it a gentle push. This was the same kind of anomaly that was detected with Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor, which Loeb had famously suggested could be an alien solar sail. Then there was the lack of a traditional comet's tail in the early observations. Many people are crazy about pointing this out. For an object that was supposedly shedding gas and dust as it neared the sun, it was unusually clean. This led to the jaw-dropping suggestion that maybe the brightness wasn't from vaporizing ice, 
but from the glint of sunlight off a metallic, artificial surface. The theory proposed that Atlas was a probe, perhaps one that had been traveling for millions of years, sent by a distant civilization. Maybe it was just observing. Or maybe, as Loeb himself speculated in a more chilling thought experiment, its intentions were more hostile. He floated the dark forest hypothesis, the idea that alien civilizations stay silent to avoid being targeted by cosmic predators. In this scenario, Atlas could be a scout, sent to discreetly study our system before calling in the cavalry. The strangest piece of evidence, however, was the breakup itself. On April 11th, an amateur astronomer captured a photograph that shocked the world. It showed not one, but three distinct pieces where the comet's nucleus should have been. The single object had become a small fleet. The proponents of the alien theory asked a simple question. Does a rock just crumble so symmetrically? Or was this a deliberate maneuver? Perhaps the main craft was deploying smaller probes to study different parts of our solar system. To put it mildly, the internet exploded with speculation. The idea of a silent alien machine breaking apart in our own cosmic backyard was both terrifying and exhilarating. The world was demanding answers. And the pressure was now squarely on NASA to provide them. NASA's top scientists were now pointing the Hubble Space Telescope at the anomaly, and what they found would change the debate forever, debunking the myth. With the world watching and a storm of speculation brewing online, NASA directed its most powerful eye toward the mystery, the Hubble Space Telescope. What Hubble saw was both beautiful and definitive. On April 20th, the Space Telescope beamed back images of staggering clarity. Where there was once a single point of light, Hubble resolved roughly 30 separate fragments. Three days later, it looked again and saw 25 pieces. The object wasn't just breaking up, it was disintegrating into a ghostly procession of cosmic debris, each piece no bigger than a house. Each fragment was enveloped in a tail of dust being swept away by the sunlight, like cosmic dandelion seeds caught in the wind. This was NASA's response. It wasn't a press conference or a written statement, but raw, undeniable data. This is what a dying comet looks like. The science team, led by astronomers from UCLA and the University of Maryland, explained exactly what was happening. The non-gravitational push that seemed so mysterious? That's a common feature of comets. As the sun heats the icy nucleus, jets of gas erupt from its surface, acting like tiny, uneven rocket thrusters. These jets can cause a comet to spin, wobble, and even change its trajectory slightly. What many overlooked is that this process can be violent. If a comet spins too fast, the centrifugal force can literally tear it apart from the inside out. This, they concluded, was the most likely cause of Atlas's demise. The comet had effectively spun itself to pieces. But why did it brighten so much and then fade? NASA explained this as well. Atlas was likely what's known as a dynamically new comet on its first ever trip this close to our sun. Its surface was covered in pristine, highly volatile ices like frozen carbon dioxide and nitrogen. As it approached the sun, these ices vaporized with explosive force, creating the initial surge in brightness. But this was just a fragile outer layer. Once that layer was gone, the comet didn't have enough gas-producing material left to sustain its brilliant display, causing it to fade. It was a cosmic flash in the pan. The disintegration was simply the final, spectacular act of a fragile object being overwhelmed by the raw power of the sun. There was no alien mothership, no fleet of probes. There was only ice and dust, putting on one last beautiful show before fading into nothing. But even with the mystery solved, the story of Atlas reveals a deeper, more profound truth about our place in the cosmos. The Ghost of 1844 Just because the alien spacecraft theory was laid to rest doesn't mean the story of Atlas was over. In fact, what came next was the beginning of a much deeper and more interesting mystery, one rooted not in science fiction, but in a cosmic detective story that spans thousands of years. You see, after the Hubble telescope showed the world what a dying comet really looks like, scientists began the digital autopsy. 
By studying the precise trajectory of Atlas and rewinding its path through the solar system, they stumbled upon a ghost from the past. Their computers flagged an almost perfect match with another object, a brilliant spectacle from history known as the Great Comet of 1844. What many overlooked is just how impossible this should be. The paths of the two comets through space were so uncannily similar that it defied all probability. Think of it like this. If two people threw a baseball from opposite sides of the country and both balls landed in the exact same square foot of grass in Kansas, you wouldn't call it a coincidence. You'd know they came from the same place and were part of the same plan. The only logical conclusion was that Atlas and the Great Comet of 1844 were siblings. They were two fragments of a single, much larger parent body, a true behemoth of a comet that must have shattered in a violent, ancient event, long before humanity was building pyramids or even writing its own history. We weren't just watching a comet die in real time. We were witnessing the final, fading echoes of a catastrophe that happened thousands of years ago in the frozen depths of space. This connection provides a truly valuable lesson about the universe. It's a far more chaotic and violent place than we often imagine. To put it mildly, comets aren't just serene wanderers. They are fragile survivors, cosmic rubble left over from ancient collisions and tormented by the brutal power of the stars they pass. Their fragmentation, which seemed so strange and even artificial in the case of Atlas, is now understood to be a common, and perhaps the main, way that comets end their lives. We were just incredibly lucky to get a front row seat to the process, thanks to the power of Hubble. People watching this are looking for a mystery. And the thing is, the real mystery isn't about aliens, but about our own origins. Are we missing a key detail about how solar systems are born and how the ingredients for life begin their journey? The thing nobody tells you is that interstellar comets like Atlas are the perfect time capsules. They are pristine messages in a bottle, thrown from the shores of another star system and washing up on ours billions of years later. They contain the primordial material, the raw, untouched stardust left over from the formation of alien worlds. By studying their chemical makeup using a technique called spectroscopy, where light itself reveals an object's ingredients, we are quite literally looking at the building blocks of planets we will never see. And that is the real, undeniable wow factor. The story isn't about finding a finished alien machine. It's about finding the factory that supplied the parts. These comets are packed with water ice and, more importantly, complex organic molecules, the carbon-based compounds that are the essential foundation for life as we know it. Does the fact that a fragile piece of ice can travel for eons between stars, only to fall apart in our celestial backyard, mean that interstellar travel is impossibly harsh? Or does it point to something far more profound? Does it show that the universe is constantly seeding itself, flinging the ingredients for planets and, just maybe, for life itself, across the vast empty canvas of the galaxy? These are the questions that truly keep scientists up at night. The story of Atlas was never a story of alien contact, but it was a powerful reminder that we are not alone in a much more fundamental way. We are surrounded by the ghosts of other worlds, and each one that drifts past our telescopes gives us another crucial clue to solving the ultimate puzzle of where everything, including us, came from. The saga of Atlas proves that even a failed comet can succeed in capturing our imagination. But does every anomaly in space need a scientific answer, or is it more fun to believe in the possibility of something more? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.